Well, the two big questions that any producer of biofuels and biofuel technology has to answer today really are, number one, can you compete with gasoline at the pump? And number two, will this technology have a, an improvement in the overall environmental impact? With the opening of our demonstration facility, we can give the answers to those two questions as being a resounding yes. So this is the gasifier. Uh, you see a water wall running down the side of it. We use that to keep the surface cool. Uh, inside it's refractory lined. Uh, we don't want any, we don't want to lose any of the heat. The first step of our process is, is to gasify the raw material, turn it into carbon monoxide and hydrogen. The plasma gasifier that we utilize takes it to such temperatures that anything that has carbon in it can actually be turned into these types of gases and therefore be processed in our process. We've gasified hundreds of types of uh, feed products and this is our feed system right now. We're taking wood chips outside. You'll get a chance to go out and look at those. We have a, a way to feed in multiple types of fuels. We're very flexible. And as long as it has carbon in it, we can gasify it. It's really about t how many tons of carbon can you get into the gasifier. So it's feed handling and it's, it's tons of, of product. And it's approximately, for biomass, about 100 gallons of ethanol per dry ton of biomass material. So if you follow the process so far, you saw wood chips being fed into the gas fire, gas out, through the scrubber, compressed and into these, these compression cylinders that you see. Now we're ready to talk about the actual conversion into ethanol. That is the distillation column. That, that separates the ethanol. We can use that column to get to somewhere between 90 and 95 percent uh, ethanol, and then we dehydrate it the rest of the way with something called a mole sieve. Uh, the promise for the future is that we can run a variety of other raw materials, including th such things as garbage, uh, agricultural waste, even old tires. And the whole idea here is build these refineries where the people are and use locally gathered or grown materials to produce fuel for the people in that area. The cost point for ethanol produced in our process is, is quite different than that that has been realized with corn, for example, a single feedstock that has a, a price associated with it in the food chain. Our cost structure is quite a bit lower given the fact that we can use opportunity materials like garbage and that type of thing, which dramatically lowers the cost to deliver the ethanol to the marketplace. These fuels can be produced with very low greenhouse gases. Uh, they have the potential of being produced at very low cost. And it's the best near-term example we have of a technology that can have a significant impact on reducing greenhouse gases and, and really taking us off of our dependency on petroleum. This is one of the reasons why GM has made the commitment to take 50% of our fleet uh, to flex fuel vehicle production by 2012.